Not too long ago, someone asked on our Facebook group how to build a magazine style layout using Thrive Suite, if it's even possible. And the truth is, yes, it's possible. And it's rather easy. It's just that depending on the design that you're going after, you can spend a lot of time customizing your different post lists, or you could just use one of our pre-designed templates and be done with it. But uh, let's just see how to get it done. Now, before we start working on this, this is just a quick reminder that Thrive Suite is your Swiss army knife to build all sorts of online businesses. I'm going to be using Thrive Architect and Thrive Team Builder to get my magazine page created, but you can use Thrive Suite to, you know, collect emails, create quizzes, sell courses. There's a link in the description box that you can click on in case you want to check out Thrive Suite in more detail. Perfect. So I'm in the back end of my WordPress website, and as you can see, I've got um, a few different template blog posts created here. I've got, uh, you know, the traditional hello world that WordPress provides you with as you create your own WordPress website. I've got four placeholder posts about food and uh, four more about nature. Now, why did it create placeholder uh, blog posts? It's just going to be easier for us to, as we build, uh, visualize what our layout is actually looking like. So I would encourage you to create some placeholder blog posts if you want to follow along this tutorial. Now, this is the page that someone provided us with um, as an example on our Facebook group, right? They wanted to build something like this where you have, um, you know, let's actually draw this up. You have your header, which is this part over here. And this would actually get built using Thrive Theme Builder. And I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. And then, of course, you've got your actual page content, which is what we're going to be building with Thrive Architect. Now, the page content would be essentially all of this, right? Now, I want you to pay a close attention here because there's, you know, what makes a magazine page special or look like a magazine is the fact that, um, you know, that it's built um, in this masonry style, right? You've got different columns that contain different types of content. Uh, you've got a main column here, which is made up of featured posts. Then you've got a search, um, a search bar, you've got another container here with recent posts, call to actions to follow these uh, guys on social media. If we keep on scrolling down, you've got some more columns here, right? You've got one column here to the left, one column here to the right. But these are essentially just post lists, right? This is just one post list. And this one in particular is about, hey, nature and landscapes. And then this one is about um, culture. So how do we do that? Well, it's rather simple. I mean, we're just going to be using Thrive Architect to create a new page. We're going to drop in a few columns, stick in a few different post lists and you know, see how far we can take this. So let's do that. Let's go over into our pages section. Let's add a new page and let's just call it magazine. Let's hit publish. And let's fire this up with Thrive Architect. Great, so we wanna start off with a blank page that contains a header and footer. Again, um, if you're using Thrive Theme Builder, the cool thing is that we're gonna be able to customize our header and footer so that it's consistent across all of our pages and blog posts. If you're not using Thrive Theme Builder, there's a caveat, which is that most third-party WordPress themes don't allow you to customize them um, in the level of detail that you're going to be able to customize them if you're using Thrive Theme Builder, which is essentially customize every little pixel, if you will. But anyway, so let's start off with a blank page that contains a header and footer. And as you can see, this is going to fire up a header that we can customize thanks to uh, Thrive Theme Builder and a footer that we can customize thanks to Thrive Theme Builder as well. So first things first, um, let's figure out what the layout needs to look like. So I can see that we've got two columns, right? Two main columns, at least a wider left hand column that contains our post lists, and then we're gonna have a sidebar here, which is pretty cool as well. Now what we could do is something as simple as just drop in a background section, um, center things horizontally, uh, vertically speaking, drop in a content box, you know, and then drop in some columns. And let's make the left-hand column a little wider. And this would already have, you know, this would already get us to, to where we wanna get to, right? Which is to have a left-hand column that's a, that is just a little bit wider than our right-hand column. So let's stick in a post list. 
and we're going to have just a simple post list here. Now we want to have a carousel type of post list and we only need one column. Boom. Let's make sure that the thumbnail is being displayed in large so that it's not coming across as blurry. Great. And we should probably make this dark so that we can actually see it. Um, let's make this white. Perfect. And let's just preview and see what that looks like. All right, so here we've got our main post list and carousel layout. Very similar to what these guys got going on, right? Like I said, you can spend as much time customizing these things. I'm not gonna go into the level of detail that it requires for me to just duplicate this whole page because we could be here for a couple hours. Um, but I do wanna show you how to get that layout built. So next step is to, uh, well, let's continue to build upon this left-hand column first. Let's now insert a two column layout underneath our main post list. And this one is just gonna be two even columns. Here, we're gonna insert another post list. Perfect. And um, yeah, we can just be like the one above. Let's make it one column. And what we do wanna do now is filter this column and make sure that posts only include category. Um, oh, I forgot to add category. So let me actually show you how to add category. So we go into the back end of our WordPress site. I uh, remember how I told you that I had some placeholder um, blog posts. Let's just make sure that we categorize them as um, either food or nature. So here, let's go into categories, add a new category. Let's give this one category of type food and we can uncheck uncategorized. So let's do this for all of them. Perfect. So I've got all of my blog posts categorized as either food or nature. And there's one more thing that I want to do. I want to make that I want to make it so that my post about food number three also has a tag called featured. And I want to make sure that my post number four from nature also has a tag called featured. And well, let's actually make number one here in nature as well featured. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. I'm going to show it to you in a second. Let's do update. Perfect. Now let's go back to our page. Let's um, refresh our page. And here now let's make sure that we're only bringing in posts that are categorized as nature in this left hand column. And we can just really quick, let's edit the design here. Let's make this black. Let's make this white. And let's go ahead and do something really cool. We're gonna duplicate the post list. Perfect. And let's drag and drop it over into the right hand column. And now let's just edit the filter so that posts that um, belong to category food show up in the right hand column. And I don't like, I, I do appreciate a little bit of breathing room in between columns. So I'm gonna make sure that I add some gutter width here to my main um, columns. Let's just make this 45 pixels. Now we've, we're enjoying a little bit of more uh, space in between those columns. And I like the way this looks. I think I want to get rid of these arrows here. Let's do carousel options. Don't show arrows, show dots instead. Um, we can do infinite sliding. And let's do autoplay. Every two seconds, I want you to update those. Now, remember how we tagged some of those posts as featured? I want it. I want to make it so that Thrive Architect knows which blog posts need to be featured at the top of my magazine. And that is where tags come into play. Tags are an amazing way of uh, creating internal diagrams for our own selves so that we can um, purposely display or, or hide certain blog posts on different areas of our site. So for this particular blog post uh, list, I want to filter. And here I want to add a new rule. 
whereby tags need to be featured. Perfect. Let's just save and see what that looks like. Great. So we've got post about nature number one, post about food number three, and post about nature number four. Nothing else, which is great. Um, these blog posts are empty, which is why there's no post content displaying or being displayed. But then here we've got posts that are about nature, posts that are about food, and so forth and so on. Let's customize the right hand side here of our screen now. Let's go ahead and uh, display a search bar. Actually, I kind of want to put things into a uh, content box here inside the column. So let's do a content box, then let's do a search bar. And here, let's do just one of these templates. Let's do, 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 do. this one should be cool. Perfect. And now let's duplicate that content box. Let's get rid of that search bar here. And inside this content box, we're gonna have, I think they had, oh, a post list for recent posts. Perfect. So let's do another post list, post list. This time we don't want any images. We just want a simple post list. Perfect, let's just customize the typography so that we can see the text. Great, post about food, four, three, two, one, and so forth and so on, perfect. And um, let's get rid of some of these margins. Perfect. Let's add in a little text element here so that we can see recent posts. Let's just make this like an H6 maybe. Let's make it black. Great. And perhaps bold? Eh, not my cup of tea, but anyways. Uh, should be good enough. All right, recent posts. And then I think they had a call to action here to follow us on social media. All right, so let's do duplicate. Let's do follow us. Let's get rid of this post list. And let's just do follow, social follow. Underneath the text element, perfect. And here you could um, you know, pick and choose which social media profiles you wanna display here for people to follow you. Um, so we've covered how to structure things from a layout standpoint, right? Um, now, what you really wanna understand is the importance of tags and how you wanna filter things on your, on your page. Uh, because you don't want mixed or duplicate posts showing up in more than one place. Or perhaps you do, right? I mean, you could have a, a post that you've just published about nature showing up here as your most recent post here in your category nature, and then also have it show up at the very top, which that, that would technically speaking be fine. But what you can do also is, if you know that you're gonna be displaying a post about nature number four here in the featured section, you could do post list here, um, let's edit filter, uh, display results that belong to at least one of these categories, which is nature, and tags, um, but exclude results that belong to at least one of these tags, which is featured. That way you can make sure that uh, post about nature number four is not being displayed in more than one location. But you can stick in as many blog posts um, or blog or post list as you want on your page, which is why it's rather simple to, to create a magazine page layout using Thrive Architect because there's no limit as to how many sections you wanna have, right? I mean, you could have a section here that is about economics and only display posts that are categorized as economics and have as many tags and as many exclusions as you want. And that way you can organize things um, in a very neat way. I would probably have like a, like, I don't, you know, depending on how big of a magazine you're building, you definitely want to have like a structure or like a, a drawn out diagram of how your page is going to be structured. Because if you have like 40 categories, it can get 
you know, pretty messy uh, pretty quickly. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have a system to make sure that, you know, where you're displaying uh, which posts and where you're hiding them as well. All right, well, hopefully this video gave you some of those development principles that I would personally follow if I wanted to create my own magazine theme on WordPress using Thrive Architect and Thrive Theme Builder. There is a video where I actually show off how to design the New York Times. I think that it's a pretty good watch if you found this video interesting. And yeah, let me know down in the comment section below if you have any questions. Useful links are in the description box as usual. And I will see you soon. Thanks again.